So recently we've been doing a lot of construction building work stuff, right? Like building a stage to be specific. Oh, so yes. we've been spending a lot of time at Home Depot. And while I was walking <laughs> through it the other day. Woes. No, I, I went to Home Depot too. Oh, that's true. But anyway, remember the Home Depot next to our house? They would always play Cars 1 on repeat 24-7 projected onto the wall next to the entrance. But you couldn't hear it. So every time we went to Home Depot, we would just sit on like all the chests and plastic, you know, moving things. And we would just sit there and watch Cars 1 in silence until our dad was saying like it's time to go home so we just stand up and go one time we just showed up and sat there for the full showing so i don't remember that but um i'm just gonna agree hey google play disco chic by poddington bear wait that's our song yeah how long is that song Wait, skip it to the middle. Skip it to the middle. Wait, the whole song is that? We have a harp. Who would listen to that? Who would listen to that? We did. I did when I picked this song. It's like a waste of what two minutes and 25 seconds well i haven't picked a different song because in case i ever get sued for using this song because i got it when it used to be free copyright free and then they changed it to be like licensing it so i thought it's better if i just use the same song and only get sued for using one song instead of using multiple songs hmm. you know because i'm sure that's how that works mm-hmm. well here we are again retirement the end of the month it's it's in end, end of August. It's summer's over. I have a frog in my throat. I'm gonna cough. <laughs> you know, I wonder when a Visco girl coughs, does she go? You <laughs> you can't even do it. Come on. I can't. I can't. Look, actually a try though. Girl. Actually try right now. Actually try. You're just saying X. You're just going X X X X X. That's what you're doing. Dead, 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 dead. Because that's what happens when a visco girl sks as you at at you. Anyway, who are you, <sighs> Sophia? You need to be fluent, honey. I'm not fluent. <laughs> don't in don't visco say girl. something if you can't even say it right. Okay. Well, uh, welcome back to this podcast, or hello if you're new here. Who I know. Are you? Wait, actually, you're welcoming me back, right? Because I yeah. haven't been on in like what three episodes? Yeah. Not that I listen. No, you were on the last one. You just, you I just was? didn't put the mic close enough to your face, so we never heard you. What what episode was that? That was the one about um, musicals and stuff. Not what it was about. Who was in it? It was James and Amber. Uh, okay. Anyway, who are you? I'm me. Hey, Google. How are you doing? I'm great. I was just thinking about what our two-person band would sound like. I'd sing up here, and you'd sing down here. Yes. Anyway, what can I help you with? Uh, I just wanted to say hello. Hey there. So, yes. okay, hold on. Is Google transgender or what? No, okay, they so... they swap back and forth? I set it up so that we would use the celebrity voice of John Legend. He's our guest celebrity host on the podcast today. But it kind of like they didn't record all his parts. So like when there's something that he can't say, then it reverts back to the lady. So we're going to pretend that I'm here. Sophia's here and John Legend's here. And then over in the corner, um, there's John Legend's agent who speaks on his behalf when there's something he doesn't want to say. So, yes, uh, we have a celebrity guest today, and uh, also today we don't have anything prepared because I kind of looked at the calendar today while doing a client project and realized, you know, tomorrow's the end of the month and we need to put a podcast out before the server resets. So, here we are. I'll have you know, I wanted to record this, like, yesterday, so As if I'm that would make a difference? Him. Yes, because, you know, it would give you, like, what, 18 hours more to edit? <laughs> More like 18 hours to procrastinate more, so. Exactly, that's what I meant. Anyway, today we're just going to go through my little document I've amassed over, I don't know, three, four years of doing this podcast, and just kind of read out everything we've never had time to talk about. Or okay, just can we just like talk that. about retirement? Well, yeah, okay, so the original plan today was to talk about our retirement, 
had to no, talk about. No, no, we used to talk about funerals, yeah, and then funeral. you added that so specifically yeah. our funeral. And our like, are we play, our are we playing to funeral. die together? Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, do they make a two person casket? Uh, or do they just stack you up? I don't whoever, know. whoever's on just, top. Sorry, we couldn't afford multiple caskets. You're all gonna get piled up into one. I mean, yes. It's whatever you have money for, you know? <laughs> I couldn't afford a casket. Yeah, you can just lay on a plank. <laughs> <laughs> Tie me to a stick and bury me in the ground. You could, honestly. Like, that's what I would want. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. we Our plan was to just do that and talk about it. And okay, then, then hurry up. This. You're wasting my time. Here, here's the idea, though. We're going to play sleeping. this at our funeral. Find a way to put it in the will. And then we play it in our funerals, either if they're together or not. doesn't matter. Hmm? So uh, what's a message you want to give to your to people in your funeral? Uh, you shouldn't be wasting your time here. Go we'll do something. Fast forward to your funeral and literally nobody's there. Thank you. You took my advice. And then to the sound person who's playing this. Honey, how much are you getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> Is it really worth it at this point? Exactly. Uh, for me, I have nothing really to tell you except um, cry all Why? you want. Why? Or so long, suckers. <laughs> I left before you. Mm. Anyway, that's why this idea didn't really go through. Yeah, because look, I, I could care less, you know? But retirement is a whole different other, another thing to talk about here. For I you. got plans. Okay, what are your plans? Well, here's the deal. I want to move to the English countryside. I don't care where, as long as it's not in America. And then I want to become a train driver. And I want to drive trains all over the countryside, sitting out the window. Because, you know, once you it's once you get on a train, it's like set it and forget it. You set the throttle and you, it just goes. And then you sit there and you watch the land pass by. And then your little boy will be there shoveling coal for you into the engine and Am I your little boy? <laughs> uh, no, I'll probably just get a little boy. Mm, okay. <laughs> hey, boy, you want to drop out of elementary school and shovel coal mm. until I die? Anyway, and then I'll just sit there and read a book, read up all the books that I've never had a chance to read, like this one here, because it's just been sitting there and it looks really interesting, but I haven't been able to read it. Which one? It's called The Strangers, as um. seen on the season finale of my latest tv show it's on the shelf i don't I, I only see anne of green gables and the writer's journey to be clear that is an abridged version of anne of green gables it's not the full one and they cut out a bunch of stuff and i see snicket yes that's all the wrong questions and book four. A, a number four i got all the book. wrong questions book four and i it, it actually belongs to the library Orange juice got spilled on it, and so I had to buy them a replacement. And now I remember it's that. Yes, and then I tried to turn it into a, a movie. I took, I decided, you know, I'm gonna turn this book into a movie. So I sat down and tried to write it. It took four weeks to convert one chapter of the book into a screenplay. So wow, wow. Anyway, but that book's tiny. Yeah, but it, it takes a lot to convert the emotions into actions. Well. And then properly describe actions because mm. mm. you can say like he ended up on the train well in the book you can say okay he ended up on the train you imagine how it happened in the movie you're like okay what happened he had to run through alleys no, he had to encounter how about you just you just you just cut to the train but then that what's the it's boring if you honey were the book a movie, is boring it can't get greatness out of nothing if you were watching a movie and then it just i need to get on the train cut he's on the train yeah You're like where's the action where's yeah. the hullabaloo i want to see the excitement i want to see him dodging bullets so almost getting run over by a train ducking under but that's lamps. not anyway the word snicket doesn't involve bullets <laughs> it involves daggers no it involves a guy with with a hat and black hair in an oversized suit who's really short and he just doesn't know what to do with his life so he makes up stuff well, uh, let's see over here. That's what I envision that is. Hey, Google, what's your retirement plan? Sorry, I can't help with that yet, but I found something related. Do you want to know how does a retirement account work? No. I'm sorry, I lost track. 
Could you please rephrase that? <laughs> no. Okay. She feels rejected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, Sophia, what's your retirement plan here? Hold on. So I spent all day trying to figure it out, right? Mm-hmm. And, oh, look, somebody confirmed. Okay. No, um, it says retirement. Have dogs, have a quokka, which is my favorite animal. And don't tell me I'm pronouncing it wrong because I pronounce it the way I want. Um, mm. And then I said, uh, so I want to have a pet white tiger, right? What? And, yeah. And Are you trying to end the world? No. And then, not yet. And then I um, probably won't live in the U.S. And then I'll, I'll, I'll also live alone with all of my animals. This sounds like a thing you need to do in Australia. Or with Corbon, yes. Or with Corbon. Well, I, I'm only going to go to Australia. Well, okay, that's a whole other story about why I need to go to Australia. Anyway. See, okay, I, lo- I looked up on Google um, for like four hours uh, lists of, of uh, retirement ideas, right? <laughs> and um, Play bingo every day for them, 20 years. <laughs> no, half of them didn't apply to me. Well, hold on a second. Have you seen all those bingo halls? Oh, bingo halls. When we were driving down south on our road trip last month, did you see, like, we passed, like, 12 bingo halls. Buildings that said bingo in, like, 20-foot lettering on the side. We're literally the only thing that happens inside of these things. Or just old people playing bingo. This is a profitable thing. Nice. Imagine what happens when you create a Monopoly hall. Or a chess hall. I'd play chess, hmm. but I don't have anybody to play with. So That's what it's for. You create a chess hall. There's infinite numbers of people there to compete with. Infinite yeah, number of times to Yeah, but then I have rejected. to be with people. Then it's a computer chess hall, and we've just created an arcade. then it's not fun. Anyway, continue. So pretty much want to have animals and myself. There we go. And I, I'm, I might, um, let's see. I might move, like, every every year, move to a different place. But I'll stay there for a year just because I don't like traveling. So. Excuse me, ma'am. You can't bring your white tiger I, on this plane. I, oh, it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it is. It can, it can play dead. Quite. It can play dead. Um, no, so. <laughs> uh, it's a stuffed yeah, animal. Just I, don't bring any uh, small animals near it. I don't I don't really care to travel, and I don't like many places, so. You want to teleport? It wouldn't matter. Yeah, that would actually be better. Hmm. Well, that's that. Going to uh, modern day times, you know what the latest news with Corban is? The Mm. latest hot pop top news? What? I've become, you know, at my funeral, on the big screen, they're not going to have pictures of me because there's no pictures of me on the internet. It's going to be very hard to find pictures of me. You're going to have the same two going back and forth. (laughs) Three seconds here, three seconds there. What they are going to be playing are my TikToks. Because no. your boy Corban is a famous TikToker. Now. Okay, if you ever see, if you ever come across, actually no, if you ever open the TikTok app in your life, I've disowned you. Okay, I never owned you to begin with, but I disown you. Okay. They were not of us, for Just they were that. not from us. You messed that up, but okay. They were never of us, for they had come from Popeyes. For all those people who have been deserting the faith and going to Popeye's and getting those chicken sandwiches, you guys need to repent. Come on, you're the one who said they were great. I never tried them. I never tried them. Then why did you say they were great? Because people say they're great. But that doesn't mean I want to try it. Honey, (laughs) their little palates haven't developed, okay? (laughs) So their their opinion on that doesn't matter. Look, look. Judas was seen at Chick-fil-A right before denying Christ. He denied Christ for 30-piece chicken nuggets at Popeye's. So, you know, got to stay safe. Got to keep it right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, since we're on the subject of TikTok, do you want to give me any TikTok ideas? No, I need you to delete the app and go repent of your sin. Like what? You want me to go back to Vine? No, go back to nothing. So, anyway. You were never on Vine, so you can't go back to Vine. I was on Vine. You for were your not. Information. You were not. I was. You were not. I never made vines. Exactly. But I was on Vine. Wh- why? Why would you I would waste look at your all time the viners. Actually, 
I, I didn't understand any of the vines like the okay let me pants. tell you how i don't understand tiktoks because my brain can't process multiple streams of information. i cannot i can't listen to the song first of all when i hear songs i can't hear the lyrics just at all ever i just can't understand lyrics uh, it just sounds like somebody's talking, well, and it's like, call, girl, girl, and that's truck. all. That's all I got, man. Girl, truck, cow, horse. Well, I don't listen to country music. I don't listen to any music. How so, do you know that's country music? Um, because that's what it's about. It's David Crowder. Mm, maybe. Cinderella. People, <laughs> people who who eat. Uh, what is it called? Crowder soup. Crowder? Chowder. Chowder. There we Can go. I have the uh, potato Crowder? <laughs> it's the same thing, okay? It's just the... You know, David Crowder is a nephew who cr- listens to this podcast. Chow- the C is silent. I mean, the H, the H is silent, so it's Crowder. There you go. See? All right. So, um, no, I can't, I can't hear the words and read the words on the screen and process it all fast enough for me to get it. So I have to have Corban read it so I can listen to the song and then I still don't get it. But it's better than me trying to get it. You know what I mean? This reminds me of the conversation we were having last night about uh, bad cashiers at restaurants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to get what I order you and that's all. Yes. Um, okay. What else do we have here on the list? I have dreams. Oh, yes. Dreams. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. People don't like hearing other people's dreams. I do because I don't dream. So, I I don't know why I'm suddenly trying to compare this to Stan Sitwell not having hair. The who? The who? What are you talking about? The Mitt Romney family. Okay, what is that? Okay, I wrote that down. M-R-F because Mr. That is not an R. That's M-E-V with a slash in the middle. Okay, for context, uh, Sophia and I are very bad at writing Yes, I spent I spent an hour today just writing my name in fake cursive. And when we say writing, you're like, hold on a second, Corbon, but aren't you a movie writer? Yes. I mean, it's bad a at movie typer. handwriting. Oh, typer. We are very bad at handwriting. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't write. So, like, I still, I don't write in cursive, right? I write in print, right? And to begin with, my handwriting's bad Your hand anyways. writes in literal New <laughs> Times Roman. No, <laughs> no. And so, my, my handwriting isn't bad, isn't good to begin with, so... It's very not readable. And then uh, my, <laughs> my vocabulary is also a little bit bad, but it's okay. So, um, where was I going with this? Anyway, oh, yeah. so I so wrote down So, I on spent this piece like an paper. hour today uh, writing my name in fake cursive because I sort of know. Fake s- cursive. Yeah, I know some of the letters in cursive, but Needless then the other ones. loops and doop de doops and stuff. No, no, no. I kn- okay, I know the letters in cursive, but I don't know how to connect them. So I just I just hope dotted that it line dot 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 no G, no dot, I just dot, dot. I just like loop it all together and then it looks okay but it looks weird but it looks okay it looks better than print right so in the end it looks like someone took a piping bag of chocolate and just threw it around the room no, no. anyway it looks pretty good actually uh speaking of chocolate if I'm, you ever steal my ID don't look at the the name that's written on it because it's don't look written at the gender. Very bad. Oh yeah, can I tell that story? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I was um at the whatever place you go to get your ID and uh, I didn't read it. So, and so the lady is sitting there and she's asking me questions and blah 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 blah. And then we get it done and she prints out the piece of paper that shows like the um well, I guess it shows my ID. Anyway, so it's a piece of paper, right? And so she gives it to me, and she's like, okay, sign here if everything's correct so that we can verify it, and then you'll get your ID in the mail in two weeks. So, um, by the way, when it came, it was very flimsy. So um, then I was reading over it, right? And uh, the only reason I didn't sign it immediately was because I was trying to figure out how I was going to write my name because, you know, it's not very great. So... Uh, pretty much, the the um, the gender thing said it said M right, and that's for male, I assume, right? So um, then I was like, hey, um, is that supposed to be an M? And the lady goes, oh, well, murder. Anyway, no, no, no. She was like, oh, that's my bad. I'm sorry. I must have hit the wrong one. And I was just like, okay. 
Anyway, okay, and I so you. no, and so um, she took a while to 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 fix it. But pretty much, my idea, if I wouldn't have read it, because you know, usually I don't read things. So if I wouldn't have read it, <laughs> sir, sir, for the rest of your life, for wondering why people keep calling me sir. I know, sir. I know. I I like I I took a picture of it and I sent it to people and I was like, well, guess I'm a guy now. Oh, wow. <laughs> so uh, anyways, um. That was fun. And then the lady was like, she told my dad, she was like, hey, can I see your driver's license, you know, like to, to, to you know, whatever. And then. To like change him too. And, no, no, no. And she goes, hey, your picture doesn't look good. Can you take another picture? And so he was, you know, half you asleep. You took it. He was half asleep. So um, she had him stand up and take a picture. And then uh, she was like, okay, that'll be $11. And I was like, you just got money you like, scammer you, yeah you just okay okay we're uh, while we're talking about here I, I don't know why but i just this was on my youtube recommended page and i have not seen it but it looks interesting so we're going to play it together what is it welcome chris carr seymour illinois is this a spelling bee i can't see it It says crazy people making pig noises. Freddy? Freddy? Fred! I think I see him. He's right over here. What? <laughs> what? I'm so, I can't see it, so I'm just hearing. See? As a non-professional psychologist, I don't think he's okay. <laughs> Why are they laughing? That guy's going to go to a mental hospital, okay? So I have actually grew up in this city, so, but yeah. I studied this and watched it and watched it, so we'll see how well I do today. I'm you sorry, took the mic doing? off the stand. Here we go. It's going to get serious. Oh, I'm sorry, what is he doing again? Is he doing, is he pretending to be a pig or a pig farmer? Apparently there's a pig noise creation contest. This is from the 2010 <laughs> Illinois State Fair hog calling contest. Okay. That's enough. I'm glad I live in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad where we just make horse noises? No, we don't make any noises. Hey. Well, hey. I don't know about you, but I don't make noises. Okay. <laughs> you say the person in the in the middle of the night is going. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, if it's unconsciously, that it doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It doesn't count. Ma'am, you're under arrest for the murder of two victims. It's <laughs> unconscious, exactly, so it doesn't count. Exactly, yes. Any psychologist will believe me. <laughs> that's not how it works. Well, that's how I work. Okay. <laughs> that's your business cards. Look, well, that's how I work. Exactly. Okay. What else do I got here on the list? Uh, the time we were at the bank... And the police pulled over these two guys, and in the entire time we were just sitting there in the drive-thru at the bank, these two guys were taken out of their car, sat down on the side of the curve, put in handcuffs, the police went through the car, threw everything of their personal belongings on the ground, then the police called a tow truck, and they towed the guy's car away, and then they took the handcuffs off and left them in a pile of all their stuff and their junk, sitting on the curve, with no car and nothing. Wait, I remember this. No, it took that th long to remember. This was, yeah. This was the bank, the BC Texas bank by the Aldi, right? Yes. You yeah. don't need to be so specific. Honey, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of those around the country. That's so, specifically next to an Aldi? Yeah. Or Aldi. <laughs> the, as the weirdos say. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Do so, you know, well, I read it. Well, tell your thing and I'll tell my thing. What thing? Okay, no, you should remember th we had this. There was this book series that used to be at the library about this Amish girl, right? Remember that? Nope. And she would drive around in a horse and buggy, and she always dreamed of Don't being in a car. All... 
That isn't that what they think a car is? No. Okay, so there's a, there's a there was a book series okay. that I read yes. that was a part of the homeschool curriculum, huh. and I'm pretty sure Not you mine. read it too. And it was about no. this girl who grew up in an Amish community, and the whole book series. It was like 20 books, but over the whole book series, the big climax at the end was that she finally got to ride in a car, and not just any car, a yellow sports car, because her brother had given up on becoming Amish or something like that. Uh-huh. I'm not sure how this works, and I don't mean to insult anyone, but that's what it is. Yeah. Anyway, my whole point was, I forgot what my point was. That's a great point. So, um, no. I had, I was I've said somewhere. this before, but I've only ever read one book in my entire life in its entirety. Everything else, I've just read like one page, or I skimmed over it, or I just went open, flip, 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 done. Okay, then... The only so, book yeah. you've ever read in... <laughs> yes. The, the no, only the book, only you've book ever I've read ever read was How read. to Read for Dummies. No, I didn't read that. I that was that was one of the ones that I skipped through. So, um I <laughs> know. How so, to be a dummy for dummies. I think actually I used to love reading I the for dummies series. Too. No, um so what was I saying with this? I was saying something. Um <coughs> Oh, yeah. I only read one book ever. It was called Stone Fox. Everybody died, and it was great. So, yeah. <laughs> That's your little review on the back of the book. Everyone died, and it was great. It was. Two it stars. Was a great ending. <laughs> no, I'd give it five out of five. Hmm. But if it was ten, I'd give it out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Give you know what I'm saying. Give it yes, 100%. That's how it's, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot what my point was with the whole Amish thing, but I had a point. Let you that just, be known. You just wanted to offend somebody. Anyway. Oh, I guess we should finally get to a little bit of follow-up here. This is nothing. I just literally just came up on this from the top of my head. But on Instagram lately, I've been getting a bunch of advertisements for the Boy Scouts of America. And the thing is, in all the videos for the Boy Scouts now, it's just a bunch of girls. Wait, I, I forgot. Let me see. You might want to cut this out. It's a Boy Scout, apparently. Because since like a year ago, her friend... Oh, you actually want to put this in? Yeah. Okay. So... She's a Boy Scout, and she was ranting to me on the floor during crew. She was laying on the floor, and you know that thing you do where you're laying on a chair, and then and you, you rant. S- you slowly <laughs> no thing you do no when you no, lay no. On a chair you're laying you on a chair, and you slowly slide off until you're like your body's like this. That's called me. Right? Yeah. That's what I do. And I was, I was literally looking at her. I was like, you look like Corbon right now. And then she did the thing you do where you just accidentally fall off, and it hurts so bad. Uh, anyway, so that was fun. Um, I see you're replacing me with someone who does the things I do. That's true, actually. Anyways, not the replacement, but the things you do. Um, I can sing that good. So what was I saying? This? Oh yeah. So she was saying how she's a Boy Scout because a person who they think they're her friend, but just because she's nice to everybody, everybody thinks they're her friend. So um, they signed her up for Boy Scouts, and they went. She literally went two weeks, and then after that, she was so done with it. She made up an excuse to not go, and then over the whole summer, she didn't go. Um, and then she said that now she doesn't have any excuse not to go, and so she doesn't want to go. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, what do they do? Because I went to Boy Scouts with Corbin, and it was pretty fun, you know, stealing bikes from guys and not getting hit because I'm a girl. Ha! So anyways. <clears throat> Yes, I, I brought stories. all this up to say... But no, no, wait, I'm not done yet. So, um, anyway, I was just like, well, just quit. And she was like, well, I can't because the person thinks they're my friend and I can't just quit. And I'm like, well, okay, what do you do there? And she's like, we tie knots. And I'm like, and? And she goes, that's it. And I went, wow. Okay, well, I'm actually I'm so impressed with the school system, y'all. Like, it's... It's been improving. Okay, but I'm actually jealous of that because they never taught me how to tie knots in Boy Scouts. Yes, they did. You weren't that you would either fall asleep, go to the restroom, or get stuck doing something. Well, like you'd get stuck trying to tie your guys, little thing up. I'm stuck in the bathroom. Help <laughs> no, me you, out. No, you'd get stuck trying to tie <laughs> your little they're thing. They're practicing from tying the... knots on the bathroom door handle, so I can't get out. Help! <laughs> help! No, you tying your little um, handkerchief thing. You know. I never used my handkerchief for that. My handkerchief was always used as a sling, whether or not I had a broken arm. Mm. And yeah. I learned that the good way. 
<laughs> anyway, my whole point with this is seeing all these advertisements for Boy Scouts with girls in them, and like literally the advertisement they had literally had no guys in it. It was all girls. Uh-huh. And I'm like, well, I don't necessarily agree with that, but for everyone's information on the entire earth, Sophia was the first girl in Boy Scouts. Yes, I was. Thank you. And it was real Boy Scouts, not not none of that none, none tying of this. little slip yes, knots. This was back in like 2008, 9, 10, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah. Sophia was official Boy Scout. And mm-hmm. you know, that's yep. probably why your ID was said male. Oh. She was like, I saw you in Boy Scouts. Probably. She did look familiar, actually. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah. Did you hear about the time I stomped over 14,000 blue bonnets? And I oh, didn't get arrested. Yes, that was. Oh, yeah. If you ever listen. It doesn't count because I was unconscious. If you. Uh, technically, it was. If you ever uh, listen to our first episode, we talk about how I might go to death row for that. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's that okay. way. Hey, that way I don't have to come up with a retirement plan. <laughs> it's all planned out for me by the U.S. government. Yes. Actually, I have. I do. When I retire. I want to I wanna work for the government. Just to, like, you know, mess everybody up. <laughs> Ron Swanson very much. Mm, yes. Except he didn't work at all. He just, you know, So that's what you want to do. You just want to be a Ron Swanson. No, 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 no. Because I want to deliberately do things. He I want just, you deliberately he just, not doing He anything. just never did anything. So he didn't, he didn't hurt and he didn't help me. I want to so help is it a by leaf? hurting. I want to help by hurting. You know what I mean? Speaking of leaves, band aids. I, I convinced I convinced multiple people many weeks ago at a retreat I was working at. Um, retreat? Would you call that a retreat? What? Anyway, what do, I, what I'm not ready calling? to publicly release that information. Anyhow, I convinced a bunch of people that leaves are nature's paper towels. I had many people <laughs> wiping their faces off with leaves. Because I they did, I told them I for said, a second <laughs> for a second <laughs> I got paper towels and toilet paper mixed up. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Corbana like, really works. Corbana. No, and I was like, hold up, scoop me. Did I? Okay, hear guys, you right? head on out and go pick up some leaves. <laughs> did I hear you right? <laughs> Walk out with your with your trash bags and let's go pick up some leaves today. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> From the bathroom. Corbana. Mm-hmm. Red leaves. Mm-hmm. There's only oak leaves left, and they don't really work that well. <laughs> that they make you itch. <laughs> Corban, I think you got poison ivy. Yep. Anyway. That'll do it. <laughs> well, that'll do it, man. Sorry. No solution now. Mm-hmm. I got poison ivy last week from uh, scooters. Hmm. That's another thing. I'm not ready to go public with that information either. Okay. Uh, what else we have here on the list? Corban's dumb. Mm. That's like in bold, big letters. Yes. That's on the, the subject line of the message text. Do you know what I mean? Try to understand this. I wrote this down and I don't understand it. Read it. YOLO is a good reason not to make a bad decision. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. It makes sense. Hmm. What else we got here? You Are you going to talk about it or no? No, I mean, that's all I had. Do you have anything to say on that? I don't really have anything else to well, say. Well, I think you should explain it. You only live once is a good reason. Because you only live once, you shouldn't make a bad decision. Exactly. Do the best with your life. <laughs> Do the best. Stomp on 12,000 blue bonnets. And June bugs. Hey, and June bucks. That was fun. Yes. Actually, no. We ran them over. Speaking of clubs, I have a note here. Precious Girls Club Psychopaths. Mm-hmm. But that's like a whole thing. Like We're going to do a different episode about all the shows that no, we've that watched. No, that one is going to be weird. its own like um, commentary. Well, show. yeah. But I'm saying on the podcast because we can't show anything. We're just going to like talk about what we thought of it. Mm-hmm. I also want to do an episode about... Well, I won't talk it's about it. It's not going to be a review. It's going to be a warning. Don't watch it. People think that being a taxi driver with dyslexia is difficult. I say it's as easy as C-A-B. Hmm? But he spelled it right. C-A-B. Cab. That's the point. Taxi. Cab. Um, and Unless other... he was trying to say it's as easy as A-B-C. Another follow-up news, uh, Lost in Oz is going to 
be shooting more STEM videos for classrooms. You know, I really hope people listen to us in two times speed because if they don't, they're like, they're really wasting their time. <laughs> and we talk extremely slowly and chop up our words because we're not entirely sure what we're talking about. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, you yeah. know, this is a story. I don't know if you remember this because you might have been too young. But uh, one time we were traveling down to Austin back when you our said aunt what went now? to Austin. Uh, and we stopped in Waco at a McDonald's at like 6 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And it was like a Monday. So kids were like, for some reason, kids were going there, like playing in the playground. And they were going to go to a, like um, school or whatever. <laughs> to so a school or whatever. We were at this McDonald's. We get our like breakfast meal. We ate breakfast. And we go to the playground. And we meet this kid on the playground. Mind you, we were like 5 and 6 or something like that. Okay. And... um. You're, you're sounding like this is a story that you didn't live, but you were in this. Oh, no. I vaguely remember this because I have my own story that I was about to say. So Okay. Well, yeah. There was a kid. And basically, you kind of promised to be his best friend for life and then <laughs> told him that you went to his school and that you were going to go with him and his mom was going to drop you two off at school together that day. And then we just left and yeeted out of there and ghosted him forever. <sighs> oh, I love giving kids false hope. Oh, beautiful thing. Come in. Nobody's knocking, honey. I heard somebody knock. No, we're just blind. Anyway. Um, no, yeah, I love giving kids false hope, you know? It just it makes them feel great, and then it makes them appreciate what they already had, you know what I mean? Because you left them. Anyway, so we were at this McDonald's. And well, it was, I uh, just realized I was cross-eyed that whole time. We okay. were at this McDonald's. Yeah. It was 9 p.m. at night, and um, it was out, like, in the not shady kind, you know, shady part of town not the nice guy anyway so they're out there late and um all of a sudden you sophia decided to join in with this family playing a game of uno right remember this you're at this mcdonald's they're playing a game of uno and you're like hey can i play and the girl's like sure and they let you in so you start playing games of uno and you go through like five rounds with them and somehow like you have like a mental connection with this family or something and basically Correct. okay here, here's side note okay corban remembers things that i don't ever remember like and then when I do remember them, I'm like, I wasn't the one who did that. He was the one who was doing that. Okay, well, this is definitely it's, something we, I would have never done. No, we remember the opposite person doing it. So, I don't know. Anyways, okay, it's not going. over yet. Keep so, going. basically, you start becoming, like, friends. Again, kind of form that emotional connection again with these people. And then these people are like, hey, like, out of nowhere. Hey, uh, we have a cat, and we don't want it. You want it? It's in the car. And they're like, Sure. And our mom is like, ah, uh, and you like, they take you outside. Like, oh, wait, I remember this. Stranger danger. Yes, I remember this. And they're like showing you the cat and mm-hmm, stuff. Yeah. And they're like, you want the cat? And you're like, sure. And our mom's like still standing outside the door. And McDonald's okay, like, I did not say sure. I gave them a nice, polite smile. Sure. That does not mean sure. That just means that's a cat. <laughs> and this is me. And, you know, okay, well, we're not friends. It's just I wanted to play a game. They're you like know? really adamant that they're trying to get rid of this cat. Yes, yes, I know. And uh, basically, they're like, take it out for you to play with. And it just runs off into the, you know, out into the wild with nothing there. And mm-hmm. they're like, oh, well. And they get in their car and they leave. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, <laughs> what the cat? I know, I know. So you make our dad drive around everywhere trying to find the cat. And we found like four different cats <laughs> out behind a bush somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we don't like cats. Yes, I don't. And if that makes our reviews and ratings go down, that's fine with me. Yes. Because I don't like cats. Just like if you're going to McDonald's and you don't want lettuce on your thing, then order something different because it's going to come with lettuce, okay? Hey, Google, do you like cats? Well, cats aren't as cuddly as puppies, but we still get along. You see, even Google agrees here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, my McDonald's story. All I remember it was it, it, it was our mom, Peace, which is our sister, and me. I don't remember. And one of the little boys. I don't remember who. Um, but yeah, they were playing in the playground. And then you know when when we need to leave, they never come. So I have to go in and get them. So when I went in to get them, right? Okay. So this is this is context, right? So context is there is nobody else in the playground, like no other people sitting there, nobody else. Um, and then in the whole McDonald's, there's only one guy, and it's just him, and he looks like he's a homeless guy, right? So and he was just drinking. He was just drinking water. It's right? Ronald McDonald. And no, <laughs> he was just drinking water, right? Hey man, so, need a twenty. So there's literally nobody in this McDonald's, okay? 
And so I went in to get them, right? And when I went up, I, you know, the, how there's always the stairs and then there's, you can go up one more, you know, to the stairs and then, or you can go to the side through the like tunnel thing across to the other side, the mm-hmm. classic McDonald's playground, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. I've always been scared of the mesh crossovers. Yeah, yeah. That's, For that's forever. Your fault. Those Anyways. just scare me so much. Anyway, so my point is, when I went up there, there was a little boy sitting there. And you I said just said, want some candy? No, and I just said hi, and I passed him to go get every, to get peace and the other kid. So the other kid. Yeah, you know the brother. Um, and so I went to go get them right, and then I thought, hold up, there's a kid in this playground that I haven't seen or heard move this whole entire time, and there's no other people in this playground area, and the only other person in the entire McDonald's is a homeless guy. So. Either this kid lives here, or this kid got left, or this kid is a kid of one of the workers. And um, none of the workers seemed to look like the kid. So, that was me trying not to be racist. So, um, (laughs) anyway, point is, I'm pretty sure that that kid just got left there. And I was just like, wow. You, when you're inside there. When you're in the playground. I'm going to get sued for this, but whatever. Oh, wait, are we waiting for something? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, hold up. You know, anyway. we sh- hey, you know what? We make this into a TikTok. Okay, who's going to be the little kid in the playground? I'll be the little boy, and I'll also be the homeless man, and I'll also be the playground. But that means that we have... Oh, wait, are you going to be the McDonald's building, too? Yes. Okay, cool. Then we're good. (laughs) That all works out there. Yes, then we're good. Okay. (sighs) Uh, Well, we're about to hit an hour anyway. Is there anything else you want to talk about that you saw on the list that you think is interesting? Uh... Um... I don't know. I just have a note here at the time that my fifth grade teacher made me watch. Not fifth grade. It must have been my what? Fourth grade? Fourth grade. Fourth? No, it was my well, second grade Well, unless it was at church. No, it was my second grade teacher made me watch Fat Albert, the live action movie. Like three times in a row back to back because she didn't have anything else. Wow. And then there was the other time a substitute teacher made me find her son in prison on the Dallas County Prison's website <laughs> and pull up her mug, the kid's mugshot into the screen for everyone else in the class to see so that she could cry and tell everyone, don't make bad decisions in your life. You're going to end up like him. And then she gave me a little certificate that said excellent work and signed her name on it. And I still have it hanging on the wall and it's been hanging there for over 10 years. That's what that was for? That's what that little sign on the wall is for. Wow. It says great work, Miss Woodward or something like that. No, Miss Bates. No, it said Miss Woodard. Because it was a substitute teacher. Okay. That was also the same day that I threw up on the floor because oh, the, the, of hush, the puppies. hush puppies. Yes. Yeah, that's why I don't need hush puppies. I was puppies. about to say the Popeyes. No, um, the hush puppies. Oh, wait. It's the same thing. But, um, um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I don't really have, have anything else here. That's interesting. Well, half of this isn't usable. <laughs> Tell that to uh, me tonight when I'm just going to release this raw audio out. <laughs> With all the throw up sounds. Hmm. Okay. I got sent someone's audio yesterday as an audition and they said, don't mind the fart sounds because my dad plays a fart machine in the background every time I try to record something. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'll let you know who it is okay. and we'll listen to it together. No. Okay, well, I guess that's all we have to say. No, you have to actually talk about something good. Because there's nothing, there's literally, you're going to have to cut out 20 minutes of this. Oh, I forgot. I wrote a note down that said, if you sound Mexican on the phone, they're going to lie to you. And then I also wrote down that the gate code to our aunt's apartment, and then you could get AirPods 2 for $145 at Costco. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, I wrote a meme down. It says, Mom, let's go get some snow cones. Two minutes later, Sophia reads, sign reading, one mile to International Bridge. 30 seconds later, Corban sees detainment camp. Yes. Nobody in the car has any identification documents with them. Yes. Everyone, Tom face. Yep. Who's Tom? But no, that was a true story. Did we talk about this? Hold on. That should be a TikTok. 
Wait, did Wait we talk? Did we talk about this? I don't think we did. Okay, we'll talk about it. Let's we go. drove down to the Mexican border. Yeah, so our mom was like, "We're gonna go get snow cones," and then she's you just know. driving. She's not looking. She's not specifically finding any specific location. She's just driving, trying to find a snow cone place. Yeah, and we're like. International Bridge. Yeah. Thirty seconds later, yeah. we, we mm-hmm. see the yeah. t- the detainment camps yeah, there. And she almost went past the thing that said, "If you go past this, you're not allowed to go back." She almost went there, and I was like, "No!" And I yanked the steering wheel, and we made a U-turn. So thanks to me, and we're we not made a U-turn in into Mexico. Canada. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh oh. They're not that close together. Um, at least not on my map. So um. Oh, who's the other one? Yeah. Mom, who's that lady? Uncle, she's a chimney. Mom, what? Oh, uncle, nothing but smoke comes out of her. Puff, puff all day. Yes, I remember that. There was a better way to say that, but yes. I have lots of notes from that week. Yeah, got, and thanks to me, because I'm the one who uh, was typing it. Uh, Spring water, oh, ice, food. Oh, this is a shopping <sighs> list. Good, I just, uh, meeting meeting okay. notes for Tuesday the 23rd. CCLI streaming. Become, oh. Okay, that's not anything interesting. Anyway, I think I really run out of everything here. Oh, I was supposed to, Oh, that's my shopping list. I have to go buy that. Anyway, I just, I'm, I'm looking through my notes now, seeing a lot of stuff. Continuous Myra Mayer Sophia. Shot list. Oh, this is my notes for the edit I'm doing right now. Hmm. Okay, yeah, there's really nothing else I have to say here. So, uh, stall for me, Sophia, while wait, I... Wait, wait, wait. What? What are you stall, talking about? Stall, stall, stall. Okay, we're stalling. Okay. I can <laughs> Thank you for listening. Stutter. If this is your first time, we're usually more prepared. Who knows if this is how we're going to end up becoming for the rest no, of our lives. No, hold on. I have a question. What were what? you going to say before that? That's your question. Huh? I wasn't going to say anything. No, you were going to ask me to say something. No. I just said stall. Mm, anyway, okay. um, if you want to subscribe, we're available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else podcasts are available. Links for all of our locations are available Online on our website by going to rta.com. She got the mayo. Look at her. Oh wait, that's not mayo. Never mind. Corn that's cornstarch. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make oobleck. With water. Make what now? Oobleck. Is that, that a, a terrorist attack? Oobleck is like it's like slime. It's like a liquid, a solid, and a gas. Yeah, it's like it's like a solid and a gas. So what is it? It's like a liquid and a solid. And. So that's called an ice cube piece. No, no, it's like a liquid and so it's like so like when you put it into a ball, it holds it, but then when you like, release the pressure, then it just comes down as a liquid. Okay, well that was her sister talking about slime. Let me just wrap this up here. No, she notes. said, she said, ood, ood, oolik, oolik. You can follow me on Ooblick. Twitter at Corbon Garcia or on TikTok. That sounds like a Bible name. At Grand Mammy Corbinator on TikTok. Follow really? Me that's your actual username? Yes, that's my actual username. Why? Though? Don't ask why. Uh, what about you, Sophia? Where can people find you on TikTok? <laughs> Don't find me. <laughs> oh, so well, you have I'm an not account. on TikTok, but even if, like, wherever I am, just don't find me, you know? Okay, anyway. Uh, we'll actually, be back you, next you month find with me an episode. At, 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 next month, I thought you um, didn't every day or every week. I, um,. I don't know. You can find me in the hospital. Hey, Google, is there anything you want to say? Pay my bills. We can talk about anything you'd like, or we can listen to some music. Why does he have that weird noise in his mouth? What do you mean? That's just his voice. That's John Legend's voice. Who's John Legend? Hey, Google, (laughs) who is John Legend? My sister wants to know. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Hey, Google, tell me who John Legend is. According to Wikipedia, John Roger Stevens, known professionally as John Legend, is an American singer, songwriter, producer, actor, and philanthropist. Who? (laughs) A philanthropist? Okay, Google, what is a philanthropist? A flame priest. A flame priest. Here's the definition of philanthropist. A person who seeks to promote the welfare of others, especially by the generous donation of money to good causes. So they take other people's money and give it to other people. A Robin Hood. Mm. Mm. Okay. I strive to be a Robin Hood. Wait, but so also, that's who John Legend is? Yes. Okay. Anyway, we'll be back uh, next month. Uh, but until then, hey, Google, say goodbye. Don't say goodbye by Sergio Mendes. Sure. <laughs> Playing on Spotify. <laughs> no. Wow.
copyrighted. Do you pick screen? Okay, now that I'm seeing it, that's a lot more like what is it called? Calm than I expected. I thought it was somebody with a head mic crawling around the stage. That's what I thought it was. That's extremely nonviolent and calm. Like I didn't expect that. I don't I don't think she's gonna win because she just keeps being repetitive. I mean I've never heard a pig before, but <laughs> but I've heard people. So I've heard people. So yeah, you know the judge. You know, I've never heard a pig before, but I've heard people. And you just, you were too repetitive, you know? <laughs> Somebody made a YouTube account with a screenshot of the lady as the profile picture uh. and said, I should have won. And they pinned the comment. <laughs> Why? <laughs> One guy competed with corn on his head. What? <laughs> comment. What Whoever has said white people have no culture have obviously never seen this video. America has talent.